What's going on guys, Han huh? Yellow, Nerd Beer Bottle Talk. And before we get into the discussion, I wanna talk about what I'm drinking right now. Great Notions Juice Junior, that can offer it's super cool. It is a 6% ABV, easy IPA. This is what it looks like, of course, in the proper glassware. Uh, very juice-like, very good, man. Just did a video on it, so check that out uh, once I get it up. But today I wanna talk about how do I stay fit and healthy while drinking all of this damn good beer. Um, so I know there's people out there who are, you know, uh, drinking a lot of beer and just not taking care of themselves and, you know, they would like to or they're looking to, into, you know, taking care of themselves better just so they can drink more good beer for longer, um, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure if I said that in the right order. Anyways, uh, I'm sure you guys get the gist of it. So let me take a sip here. So how I stay healthy and fit while drinking all these beers is, well, let's put it into perspective first. I'm about 5'8", and I weigh approximately 140 pounds. Um, so I'm not very tall, and I'm not, I'm not a very big person. I'm not very large uh, in height or in like stature, I guess, uh, in weight. Um, so just putting it out there just so you have some kind of reference. Um, how I stay fit and healthy while drinking a crap ton of beer is I work out actually quite a bit. So a typical week for me consists of working out five to six times, uh, usually Monday through Friday, and then you know Saturday or Sunday would be a bonus day if I'm feeling you know I'm feeling good or whatever I'm feeling like I can do more. So working out five days a week after work or whatever before work, uh, I I just get it in, man. And I do five days because I do five different muscle groups. Uh, one per day and by no means you have to do that you know I, people who there are people who can't do that because of you know you have a uh, job doesn't allow you to you have kids you have other obligations so you know you can go as many times as you want or as you can but I would I'm gonna suggest at least three so you do like Monday Wednesday Friday or you know any any three and then you know just work more than one body part uh, per day if you're doing only three days obviously uh, but yeah, I work out quite a bit um, on my days that are my weeks that I'm really busy I just you know have a lot of things to do. I try to get at least three in at least three and To quickly go over what I do like at the gym. I know a lot of people uh, Think that doing cardio or whatever No, whatever doing cardio is a uh, very beneficial and it is it's good for heart health and whatever and you'll lose weight doing it but Lifting weights and lift like specifically for like men, uh, lifting heavy weights actually burns a crap ton more uh, fat and it allows you to gain muscle too, like lean up a bit. Uh, and there's that misconception of uh, fat becoming muscle. Fat does not turn into muscle. That is not a thing. Fat cannot turn into muscle. Uh, I, I, I kind of see how people can think that because you know, oh, I'm working out. Uh, wow, my fat's going away and my arms or whatever are actually getting larger. It must have turned into muscle. No, it's because you're putting on muscle while you're burning the fat. And fat actually weighs less than muscle, so you may be gaining weight. Like, let's say you weigh 140, three months later, you're like, what the hell, why? I obviously lost a lot of fat. Why am I gaining weight? It's because muscle mass is heavier than uh, fat. So, just, just want to put that out there um but yeah definitely do you know do do whatever's comfortable comfortable for you but at least put the effort into working out or whatever you know go for jobs you don't have to go to the gym just go go for a jog or whatever you know if you're not walking if you're not doing like any physical activities at all you know start off slow if you want go go for a walk go for like a 30 minute walk around the neighborhood whatever whatever you're not doing now if you're doing if you start to do it let's listen for example, walking around the neighborhood for 30 minutes, you'll see a difference, but also working out is not the like the entirety of losing weight. That you got your nutrition has to be good. You can't be eating a bunch of like Big Macs, chicken nuggets, you know, pizza, ice cream, whatever. Uh, a lot of it has to be do with nutrition too. You'll lose weight without going to the gym if you just eat start eating right. Uh, but eventually of course you'll plateau and to weight break that break 
a way or break through that plateau is to do things differently, like working out if you don't already do. So, you know, that's just quickly how I stay healthy and uh, fit and, you know, try to keep my weight at bay. And uh, I stopped drinking beer during the week or like most of the week. Uh, I don't drink beer anymore. Like I started off not drinking beer during the week just because. And then slowly I started with one day and then one day became two days and then soon enough it was just drinking every day. I wasn't getting hammered every day, but I was drinking like a beer or two every single day of the week. And I was maintaining my body weight and you know, just from working out or whatever, but like my body wasn't as in good of a shape as I wanted to be. Like I wasn't looking uh, the way I wanted to just because I was drinking, taking in you know, more calories than I was burning uh, essentially. So. Although I was like fit, I was still storing a lot of fat, so I stopped. Uh, let me take a drink. Mouth gets really dry when you talk so much. Um, I wasn't like, I, I was fit, but I was actually storing fat as well because I'm taking in more than I, I was uh, burning. Uh, it would happen very, very, very gradually, but I started getting like a gut, and I never really had a gut before, so that was like a uh, eye-opener for me I guess where the turning point for me where I'm like no nah, I'm just not gonna drink during the week no more and that's not to say that I'll I will not crack a beer open in a week it's just I don't do it very often anymore um, and it's helped quite a bit like I'm starting to lean up a little bit more uh, lost fat around my tummy which was very little to me it was a lot but to other people they're like do you barely have anything again I'm a very small person too so you know just doing that just doing a little Little things in your life, in your everyday life, makes you know it makes a huge difference. Like I said, nutrition is like I'm gonna say at least 70% of the whole weight thing. Like working out is very little. Working out is good, but nutrition is even better. It's more important than just working out. Um, yeah, this video is going on for way too long. It's supposed to be quick, so I'm gonna end it on that. And uh, just want to talk briefly, I guess about how I stay fit and healthy while drinking a crap ton of beer. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, comments, leave them below, man. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things possible. Thanks for watching. Cheers.